Hey you guys and welcome back to the Kajo Styles Hair Show. Today we're going to be taking this client from a really dimensional blonde to a bright blonde where she wants all of her ends to be really solid blonde and have her money pieces be a lot more bright. So we are going to get into it. I have her money pieces all the way parted off. We're going to start with doing a few slices and then we're going to move back up into baby lights. A little bit of history about this client. She actually came to me as a color correction. So this is my third time doing her hair. So we've had a few sessions together so I'm comfortable with her hair I know her hair pretty well her hair was in really good health so I felt really comfortable doing this technique because we are gonna be using quite a bit of lightener to get her to where she wants to be so we're gonna start in with these money pieces and then we're gonna work our way to the sides So with this blonding technique, we're gonna be doing all of her tip outs because she wants her ends really solid. This is gonna be the best way for you to get your client's ends solid is by doing their tip outs. So what I'm gonna do is gonna be teasing everything that's left out and then I'm gonna put them in a foil as well, making sure that I am blending and feathering up into the her root area because if you do not feather and make sure you're not um, blending properly, you're gonna have lots of straight across and harsh lines. So we wanna avoid that at all costs so we're going to make sure that we are teasing nicely and then making sure that we're feathering nicely up into that root area. to show you guys a little bit of how I tackle the back. Usually I have my incredible assistant Brinley tackle the back, um, but today I kind of just wanted to show you how I would approach the back and how Brinley does the back when we are working together. So what I'm going to be doing is taking one inch sections and then I'm going to be weaving that, leaving no subsections here, and I'm going to be taking that and just weaving like normal. I'm going to be taking these um, sections on a slight diagonal up the back of the head so it kind of creates a little bit of a V. If you guys can see where her top, where the veil is, it's parted off into a V. So that's kind of where we're kind of getting all of our angles from is trying to get everything into that V shape. It blends really nicely and then when the hair is down it just looks really really nice and cohesive. Also giving you a little bit of dimension and a little bit of contrast. So we are just going to be working our way up taking our um, sections at an angle and then working our way up until we get to that veil. And right here is where I've started that tip out. I'm gonna be taking and splitting this into two sections here because if you do it all in one section, the hair's just gonna be way too thick. So the best thing that I can say here when you are doing a tip out is making sure that the hair is kind of spread out like so, so that way you can get really good saturation. Usually, tip outs are gonna be a little bit thicker than your traditional foil, so I always just try to make sure the hair is spread out. I'm using lots of tension from my brush, really trying to get in there and making sure that there's not gonna be any spotting or anything like that from lack of saturation, and that I'm um, feathering up into that root area really, really nicely. So, there's gonna be two tip outs for each section right here. And 
And then on her sides, we're gonna be doing the same thing that we did on the back, taking one inch partings, teasing up into that root area, applying lightener, going into the foil, the same thing. And then we're also gonna have two sets of tip outs as well here. Okay, so the veil is finished, so what I'm going to be doing here is splitting the veil in half when I'm trying to do the tip outs. If you try to do underneath with short hair or shorter hair, it's just so hard. So we're just going to split them all to the half and then be able to do the tip outs this way. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to do a tip out and then Brinley's going to be doing a tip out. So we're just going to each take one side and do it. And this is going to be our lineup today, 5N, 6GI, 6NA for her root, 10VG, 10GI, 9P, and 9AA for her end, all with Redken Shades EQ and 10 volume. This is her raw lift as we're pulling foils out. It looks amazing. We are so happy with how she lifted. Even though this is my third session with her, you still never know when you're coming back from a color correction just how the hair is going to lift. She also is like a natural strawberry blonde redhead. And I will tell you one thing that I have found out is that redheads, man, they are stubborn. They do not like color a lot of the time. So we were super happy with how she lifted. So we're just going to put in a little bit of a pH bonder, which is the acidic milk rinse by Biolage. Absolutely love this for a detangler as you can see she is all ratted up so this is going to take a minute for us to get through but this is also a ph balancer so it's going to help her hair also take the toner a lot better so we're just going to get through this and then we're going to start to apply her root and her end toner all right and then right here we are going in with that root tap we're going to be bringing that down about an inch inch and a half um, and then combing that through and then we are going to be putting on her end toner i have completely separated out her money pieces because i'm going to tap those very last and then I'm gonna put her end toner on the rest of her hair first and then when there's about two minutes left I will put it on her money piece I want her money piece to process separately because it's gonna be the biggest pop around her face and so I want that to be the brightest and because it lifted so nicely it literally lifted to a level 10 it was absolutely perfect I want it to make sure that it is the brightest and boldest thing that you see when you see her so we're gonna put that on last here we are with the money piece I'm only going to be rooting one side typically when I do a root smudge I do both sides of the hair line that I'm working with but on this one I'm just barely going to be tapping the one side taking really thin sections making sure I have a really tight tension on that so that way it doesn't bleed into the hairline or anything like that it's going exactly where I want it to and then I'm going to just barely tap this very front hairline and then I will comb that all through right and this is her all dried and styled we are loving how this turned out her money pieces are super super bright and her ends are really nice and bright she absolutely was obsessed with it my angles are not with it these days I'm sorry I'm still getting used to the angle thing I don't have a second assistant to film my social media anymore so it's all the tripods fault <laughs> but anyways you guys she really loved this that's it for me for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and comment down below tell me if you try tip outs or money pieces like this and i will see you guys on the next video Ooh,